Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing Dorado traces using a circle hook. Don't forget, if you like our videos, to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Okay. Here we go, spring is here. What we're using, FC fluorocarbon, anything from 20 kilos all the way up to, oh well, from 40 pound to 50 pound, good enough. This is our FC fluorocarbon. Goes translucent in water, very nice and straight, very nice to work with. Okay, we've got our glow in the dark, orange or pink little bead. We've got our Yamashita, obviously our 6 tuna circle. It can be black tuna circle, depending on the bait that we're using. And our number three power swivel, mustard scissors, okay. All we're gonna do is take about a meter of our FC fluorocarbon, tuna circle 6 and we're gonna snell it Okay, so to snell the tuna circle, all we're going to do is take your hand, wrap it around three times like we do a figure of eight. And pull tight slowly and you'll see it actually starts to form the figure of eight around it. Pull tight. Cut off. Okay, there we go. Now, what we can do is we can either use the Yamashita skirt if you want and we'll just thread it on like that or we can use our orange bead okay if we're using our bead it's going to be for a live bait if we're using our skirt, it's going to be for a dead bait. Um, I'm going to do a live bait one later on, so let me rather just do one for a dead bait. Show you how we do the dead bait circle look. We're going to then take our number three power swivel. Figure of eight. Slide down, pull tight. Cut tag end off. Okay, so very simply... <coughs> This is going to be for our dead bait and that one's going to be for live bait. Let me show you how to rig it. There's our lovely sardine that we're using. All mackerel, of again, if it's a mackerel, it's going to be a black tuna circle. What we do with the circle hook, and again, all we do is we just go through the lip, at the bottom, the jaw, and straight through the top. There we go. Slide that down. And there's our circle look for Dorado dead bait. Okay, flick it out, Dorado picks it up, give him some time to actually feed. The nice part about a circle look is that you're going to hook the Dorado in the side of the mouth, so if you want to release him, you can. There we go, guys. If it was a, um, a live bait, obviously we'd have our bead on, whether it be a moss bunker or a what's the name, doesn't really make a difference. All we're going to do is just go straight through the back there, and that's basically our circle look with the live bait on. And again, give him time to eat, let him go off, click the bail arm over, and you're good to go. Mama! 